We're getting ready to put the wedge salads together. I just have some iceberg lettuce cut into wedges, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, some red onions that I've sliced, some cherry tomatoes cut in half, some bacon crumbles, and our blue cheese dressing. I'm getting ready to make some blue cheese dressing and it starts out with a cup of mayo. A half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of buttermilk, three dashes of Worcestershire sauce, four ounces of blue cheese crumbles, I have some dried, a teaspoon of dried chives. You can use fresh if you have them. A half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna get this all mixed together. There's the blue cheese dressing. This is a really good recipe. Ken made it last week and I stole the recipe from him. We're gonna start with a wedge of iceberg. Go ahead and drizzle on some of that wonderful blue cheese dressing we made homemade. And then just top it with some cherry tomatoes. Crumbled bacon. Get back up there. <laughs> little bit of red onion. You could use a shallot too, but the red onion seems like it goes pretty good. Now, there's a restaurant in Corona, California. When they make their wedge dressing, they sprinkle a little bit of balsamic around the edge. And ever since I've had that salad at that restaurant, I've been doing the same thing. It really adds something to it. So there you go. There's our wedge salad. For dinner tonight, we're having grilled tenderloin, garlic, roasted mashed potatoes, green beans, and brandied mushrooms. I'm gonna roast some garlic for the mashed potatoes. I took the tops off a couple heads of garlic. And I'm just gonna drizzle on a little bit of olive oil. Wrap them up in the tin foil. Get them into a 350 degree oven about 45 minutes or so. It's been about 45 minutes and the garlic is looking nice and roasted. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a few minutes so it can cool down. The garlic cooled and I went ahead and I took all of the cloves of garlic out of the heads. We're gonna put all of this into our mashed potatoes. It's gonna be very, very mild, not strong like fresh garlic at all. In my mixing bowl, I have a half a cup of softened butter, salt and pepper, and all of that roasted garlic. I'm gonna add uh, about two and a half pounds of potatoes that I've cooked. I'm just gonna start the mixer going on low and then just gradually add some cream. Just add enough cream to get the desired consistency. I have some green beans that I'm blanching for about two minutes in some boiling salted water. I'm gonna get them into an ice bath. I put the green beans in some ice water. I'm just gonna let them cool down. And then I'll just saute them with a little butter, garlic, salt and pepper. Real simple. In my frying pan, I have a couple tablespoons of butter, some salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, and a clove of garlic minced. I'm just gonna add all my green beans, get them warm through. Look at that beautiful color. I'm just gonna cook them long enough to heat them through and then we'll just serve them just like that. I have eight ounces of baby bellas and eight ounces of white button mushrooms. Cooking in a couple of tablespoons of butter, I seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm gonna add about half a cup of brandy. Now you can flambe it if you want. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let the brandy cook off. So I lowered the heat. Uh, the other day I went ahead and I broke down two beef tenderloins. I have a video on that if you would like to watch it, if you're curious how to do it. 
I'll link it in the description box. And we're gonna cook, I have it um, tied off with kitchen string and we're just gonna brush them with oil, season with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, and then put these on the grill. And then we're gonna serve one for dinner tonight and the other one we're gonna serve on Monday night. I'm gonna make a French onion soup and a steak salad. So we'll uh, take care of two birds with one stone. <laughs> but Ken's gonna get these on the grill. We seasoned the beef with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. Onto the grill it goes. Oh, those are coming out perfect, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. One for tonight and one for Monday night. We let the steak rest for about 10 minutes. Ken's gonna start slicing one of these for dinner tonight. Let's get this plated. Gonna put some green beans on there. Some of our brandied mushrooms. And that's what we're having for dinner.